and we're live. Yay. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Meow. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no. <laughs> we're off to a great start. Uh, no, in all seriousness, we've got a very special guest this evening. We're joined by none other than Satswasi. Um, and we've got some exciting news to share as well. But um, yeah, first we'll have a little chat with Sats and then we'll we'll get stuck into it. Sats, how you doing, dude? Uh, splendid. How are you? I'm I'm also splendid. That's um, sublime. It is. It is swell. Swell. Hmm. Things are good. Things have bounced nicely. Things weren't um, good about twenty four yeah, hours ago. <laughs> yeah. mm. Things were things were truly terrible seventy two hours ago. Mm. We were in this very Discord. Yes just consoling each other being like ah uh... <laughs> i can't we believe we were yeah i can't believe we went from it was so over to it's the popcat one dollar waiting room again <laughs> seriously like we bounced so fucking hard it's insane yeah i feel like it's mainly just soul and soul memes that have bounced so hard everything else is man like if you're in anything else. Wait, I'm staking like... my Ethereum. It'll it'll overtake you guys. <laughs> I'm, getting I'm getting that yeah. yield. Boomers oh. love yield. Ultrasound money. Make it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got some staked ETH. I'm getting four percent. It's pretty good. Four percent, and it's going down. Didn't you see of... that uh, gas hit four hundred or Gwei hit four hundred? You know, ETH so Holy bad. Shit, they hit a second. Sorry. Kind of embarrassing how Gwei hit 400 and all it was was people moving their ETH to sell it. <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> that was that was bad. I, I saw a lot of that kind of post of like, holy shit, Gwei is moving so well right now. And I'm like, yeah, it's because Jump Crypto is liquidating everything they fucking have. <laughs> 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 that might have something to do with it. Didn't they sell Sol as well? But there's too much demand for Sol, so it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know, but I know that they unstaked like three hundred million dollars in ETH, ish. It, well, yeah, and a they unstaked. More. They unstaked like a lot of soul as well. I think like two million soul. I don't know. Does anyone that's... actually know what happened with that? It was one of those things that I saw and no I looked into for about fifteen minutes, and I was like, "Well, that looks <laughs> fucked." How does this affect um, my pocket, Max? Yeah, <laughs> what literally. What happened to Fire mm. Dancer? <laughs> yeah. True, they're the guys building it, eh? Hey. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Wait, was Jump convert? building Fire Dancer? Yeah. No, yeah. Next, next Jump, isn't it? Uh, I think he's still working for Jump, I thought. I have no clue, actually. Yeah, wait, it is. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure yeah, Jump Crypto is the... Yeah, it is Jump, yeah. Like the, yeah. Their, their people are building that client, so... Mm. Oh. Well. Okay. So that's something... But it's a good thing that Solana is is owned by the CIA, so that's, <laughs> that's the important How distinction the here. How the fuck did that start? Like, I, I was away from uh, the timeline all that... day today. Well, let me guess. Was... Sassel started that rumor. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um... I think it was the Whale FUD account yeah. was, like, breaking uh, like some stupid thing about Solana being... How funny is that Whale account? It just, like... It says like some truthful things and then it just says some like complete and other like garbage. Do you know yeah, that? It's weird. Do I know what? What, what the CIA Oh yeah, I started thing? it. It's real. Oh, is you? Yeah, thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so if we get CIA revenue now, it's like, it's awesome if we stay. Fuck yeah. Well, now, um, did you go and see Sats when you were in Sydney? Are you from Sydney, nah. Sats? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I was just checking. No, but I saw him. He didn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Vademo said to me. He said, if you ever come up to Sydney, I'll see you, but you won't see me. <laughs> it's very Vi Vademo coded. Wait, he's, he's from Sydney. Behavior. Yeah. Pretty oh, sure he's shit. from Sydney. Did you see his post on... <laughs> What's his name? Jim Cramer's tweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so I funny. Mean, I saw that immediately and I just copy pasted it there as well. Yeah. I'm like, it's fucking... 
<laughs> what did he say? I missed it. God. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. Go, go and have a look on... Um, I can't even explain it. It's just so funny. Yeah, it's just Jim like Brady a long... Used lock in. In a yeah. Yes. And then, uh, yes. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. I see where and we're he, headed. And he just like did this entire like paragraph in in caps of him just saying Jim Cramer is not affiliated in any way with Lockheed. Let me let me, find, let me find this shit. So funny. Um, I like that he gets responses from these people and like actually makes people address like the whole Yuga Labs and the World Economic Forum. They had to release like a full statement about how like, yeah, technically they have some involvement in the WEF. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Oh. So funny. This bro, what were you like... saying, Swiss? Oh, God. Swiss? Uh, I didn't say. <laughs> I was well, just going to say, um, Sats, is this like one of your first podcasts um, that you've been on? Um, for a long time, yeah. Yeah. For our um, viewership, which just concludes of my mom and maybe two other people, did you want to uh, tell us a little bit how you got into crypto and, um, yeah, what, what your journey's sort of been like? Mm, I'm good, thanks. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah sure um I, I can't even remember how i got in um i kind of just like stumbled across it one day and like uh well maybe okay like my brother told me about it when I was in like 2014 or something and i was only 15 so i didn't do shit about it i bought like some ethereum on one of the shittiest oh, what the fuck uh, is my australians <laughs> the australian um <laughs> sexes and the like fucking fees and like onboarding and offboarding and like buying and selling was so shit that it just sucked um so i kind of didn't bother with it again and then probably like 2017 or 2016 again uh started dabbling around in things when shit got exciting um and then yeah that's pretty much like how i started i kind of have no clue okay i just kind of like i think i just spawned in here and, <laughs> yeah. yeah i just Generally showed up one day cool. yeah i think it feels like 20 years ago when was like yeah. the um when did you like go like basically religiously like eight hours a day twitter just like all in crypto like were you just we was it uh the previous cycle or was it this cycle um previous so cycle the 20 yeah like was... 2021 yeah okay um yeah. no it was it's actually like the end of the previous cycle like the best time to do it <laughs> yeah that was like me <laughs> dude fucking um quit my job and then um I don't know, I got my job after FT yeah, I got my job after FTX exploded. Um kind of weird there. I just fucking hated it. And then uh like I don't even know how the fuck I survived FTX to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um I had like so mm -hmm. much of my shit on there and I or I could have like I almost got stuff out, but um I didn't have my like two FA keys on me, so I had to do the thing where it was you Disable to it like 2FA, but they don't let you, let you withdraw for another day. Oh, I like, right, that's all I can do. <laughs> um, so I have to do this. I did that, and then the next day, like, or like if, probably like 10 hours later, they were like, Yeah, withdrawals have stopped processing and everything. I was like, Ah, sick. Now I'm just wow. waiting here with everyone. Um, so brutal. dude, I was like trying to withdraw via, like, and then like once I did get the 24 hours passed. I was like trying to withdraw via fucking like Phantom, Cardano, XRP. I was trying everything, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, thing is, like, cause some people, yeah, some people are like, oh, it's, it's desperate time. And then it goes through on like Bitcoin or something else. I tried fucking everything. So, did, did you have like a lot of a lot of money on there, or was it like a like a small portion of your of your like stack? Uh, for me, it was like. Um... Quite a lot of it, to be honest. Mm. Um, but like, it was also because the other majority of that was on chain on Soul. 
Yeah. Which kind of just fucking went to shit. Um, I think, like, the only way, like, I kind of salvaged things was by trading on, like, um, Zeta. I know they're, like, just kind of, like, fucking shorting the shit out of Soul <laughs> um, <laughs> with, like, what I had left on chain. Um, but it was, like, so broken back then. Like, you couldn't do, like, any transactions. Um, yeah, it was a great experience. I loved it. I think like some revenge shorting after your funds get locked on FTX. <laughs> yeah. Is that uh, how you became like a perps king? Yeah, you trade perps all the time. Yeah, it's like I'm addicted. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think you're just like constantly in the space. Like, uh, I need something to do like every second. So I'm just like pretty much always looking for things so if i see things i'm gonna take action on them if i don't i'm like fucking bored bro but <laughs> i guess that's when i make most of my money so i'm bored mm. yeah it's a good strat and do you do you trade perps with like like i know a lot of people have their like obviously their spot holdings and stuff and then they trade like with a bit of tiny size perps is that like what you do or do you like actually trade with size on your perps um uh pretty no i'm still mainly like spot things mm. um, yeah, nice. yeah that's also because like it's like bags of whiff and pop cat and stuff that i bought yeah very <laughs> so volatile like, yeah. yeah um can't really leverage those things no um yeah yeah i wouldn't really want to be doing that anyway just like this is like a risk tolerance sort of thing i just have like um multiple wallets and like Cold wallets and different accounts and stuff for different um, kind of trades. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Fuck yeah. How did you get started at Woo and Woo Fi? Uh, it's actually, I think, um, Satstar preferred me because he's an affiliate, ah. has been for ages. And then, um, no fucking clue how they hired me. It was, like the major, like most degen hire they've ever had. <laughs> um, the only Australian as well. Yeah, I was gonna say there's like definitely no other Aussies that I know that, yeah, that do like, it with Wu. It's pretty. It kind of worked because like most of my team stuff is um like surrounding in like Asia, so we're pretty much the same time zone. And like even for the people like in Europe and America, like I'm pretty much always awake, so. <laughs> it shouldn't be ruins. Yeah. The 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 no no wage cucky life in crypto twenty four seven. Uh yeah. The, yeah, it's a no sleep lifestyle. I uh noticed that you like often talk when you're doing your perps trades that you use it as a way to accumulate more spot. Is that like something that you learned later on or is that like just like a general strat that you use like to combine with your um, trading um, normally. Um, I don't always do that, but um, I don't know. Like I just find things that work for me, and like if I'm like super bullish on a coin long term, um, and I like, you know, see it's overheating and stuff, and I short it, um, I can capture some funding or something, while like just holding my spot and then using the short funds to buy back like that's just i think that i think about it all as in like one trade uh, not like um not like the short as a trade like it's all you know one combined trade and as long as like uh, everything's going up then i'm fucking happy yeah nice nice that makes sense yeah you 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 seem to time your shorts pretty well. Is there like something that you look for that like um, sort of makes you go like, oh, timelines getting super horny, like Telegram chats going pop 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 pop. I better short pop cat here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I definitely don't always. I fucking suck at that to be honest. But um, usually like when I'm browsing for watches or something, 
It's so true. <laughs> so true. That's so true. Oh, that's, that's, actually, a great, that's a great, that's a great indicator. indicator. Yeah, it's whenever I'm browsing chateaus seriously from being like, oh yeah, the deposit's looking pretty good on this kind of thing. I remember that you know, like I think it's happened twice, and everyone's just been in the group chat like, dude, no, no more of this, no, no more. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay, that's that's fair. I literally bought like a, a Chrome Hearts hoodie and a Chrome Hearts t-shirt like the day before <laughs> all-time highs on BTC, which is like <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> so uh, I was like, next time I like go ham with like something like that, I'll uh yeah, I'll do this to them. Well, to be fair, at least you cashed out something and you uh you used <laughs> it. So like, yeah, a couple you, grand. You, you walked away <laughs> with something rather than just watching your unrealized PL go to zero. So yeah it was like a very small portion but yeah very true <laughs> and i get to stare at the hoodie and be like fuck <laughs> <laughs> great hoodie. Yeah. i invested my life savings in bitcoin and all i got was this stupid hoodie no. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny but yeah no should we should we do some announcing gentlemen yeah you coming up? Yeah. You're coming yep. out. That's what's happening. <laughs> coming out. Time to come out, boys. This is this is exactly what's happening. As Guys. I said early in my tweet two days ago, <laughs> the bottom is in at fifty two K or I'm gay, so it didn't actually bottom at fifty two K, so yeah, I have to come out now. <laughs> and Sticks and I are gonna be in a relationship. And that's <laughs> yeah, that's what? the announcement. So. Whoa. Yep. I feel so left out. <laughs> hey, you can come over. <laughs> you, can, you, you can join in sometimes. Yeah, you can join. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? More the merrier. Rotators, all welcome. All welcome. Anyone. All right. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> on, on a, on, yeah, just before is, we go to the announcement. Is, yeah, yeah. Just before we go to the announcement. I actually found out what a furry was recently. I didn't know what a furry was. You did Did you guys know what a furry was? Yeah, that's good, really. Uh, how did you how did you go this far? Can um, you can you give us your definition of, of a furry, yeah. please? And yeah, so apparently it, um Sats, correct me if I'm wrong. Um oh, no. but apparently it's I like that I like that Sats is being invoked. Yeah, he's like he's like he's... Sats, Sats, listen man. Listen, Sats. Correct me. It's apparently it's someone who like likes to get intimate with someone else but uh pretending to be an animal at the same time. Yep. That's uh, uh sounds pretty accurate. Me not to reply. <laughs> I mean, that's like what I got told. <laughs> I hope it's fucking right. Yeah, okay, did, anyway, continue. I didn't Sorry, buy that cop in a pop cow costume for my partner. <laughs> 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 I'm um, looking at all. <laughs> hey, babe, when you I, come I, back to me, can, can you say... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got to start doing some meme coin furry costumes on NGMI. That's the next. That's the next yeah, big that's the top. That's the top. That's, that's the big. That's the product the market top. fit. The first time that you get a sale on that, like it's over. <laughs> I sell a full size pop cat furry suit for like uh, five hundred dollars. Everyone's too rich. We're in trouble. <laughs> That'll be oh, the indicator. Yeah. Anyway, back to the more important things. There we yeah. go. Furries. Yes. So I think it's a very good time to uh, say that we are. Rotato Capital is now kind of sponsored by Wufi, which is kind of dope. So we are now Reflink Bros, and we will be including that in future pods and stuff going forward. But if we, you use the code Brotato at Wufi, um, you know yeah. it'll it'll help us out. You'll save some fees, woo. and things will be good. So yeah, big woo, woo. moment. I can officially be Woo Nell. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> and Woo now uh, uses the uh, the WuFi perps platform sometimes. Yeah, I got liquidated. And, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I need to load oh, it no. back up again. <laughs> but he uh, he has yep. said it's very very user friendly. And uh, Ooh, yeah. I need to get on. I, I need to get on. My, it, actually, I stake my Woo problem. Not and a, I greater. and I do some. Yeah, I'm I'm very bad at at perps. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not great at it, but um, I've been training myself with like a couple hundred, like a very very small account. I'm trying to, trying to. Oh fuck no, 
yeah. dude, I'm I'm only okay. I'm only just okay with spot. I haven't managed to lose it all, so that's <laughs> that's a win. Um, but yeah, no, it is one of those things that it's it's a good it's a fucking solid product, and I'm very very happy to be you affiliated with hold Blue your Woo. own good money shit. on your own wallet too. Yeah, very nice. So, yeah, that's cool. That's Very the thing. Best. Self-custody. And they have whiff perps and mm. they have pop hat, mm. pop cat perps. Oh, yeah. Pop hat. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> they have top pop hat perps. And you can do it on base chain, oh, yeah. Arbitrum, multiple different chains. So it's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. Um, Sats, Ooh. what's their uh, liquidation emails like? Are they <laughs> more friendlier than Bybits or less friendlier? What would you say? That is a great question. He wouldn't know. He's too uh, good at trading. I, I actually have. <laughs> he doesn't. Some he doesn't experience. get it. I actually have some experience here that I'd like to share. <laughs> yeah. What one L? How so, did you find the UX so, of the liquidation so, email? There was one event. I think it was like a month or two ago, and I had a position open, and it wicked down into my uh, stop loss, and it didn't fill. It was very gentle. And it bounced back up, so obviously didn't hit. So I was quite happy about that. Dude, but then the next day, I got liquidated. Just oh. <laughs> but it was. Fun. <laughs> I was quite happy the day before. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I have not set up. I haven't bound an email to my account. Yeah. So <laughs> neither. I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Good idea. I'll let, I'll let you know tomorrow. What the, what the email looks like yeah, yeah nice pretty good product do like it yep yeah it's fucking sick and you can own and yeah and this is one of those things of orderly points by trading on it mm, indeed yeah so arb rewards and all that she is so yeah it is good it is good mm. we'll be we'll be chilling the brotato ref link uh, here and there um, as oh, we I see, want to see a live stream of you trading, just you. Oh, dude, yep. sign me up. I'll do it, man. Actually, it. we should we should do that. Um, should do that as a special Swiss, episode. Swiss special live yeah. trade streams with some deltas. What this platform be... did you use before Swiss to 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 buy Popcat at twenty nine cents the other day? Uh, I use Drift, and oh, yeah. okay. it's not great at all. It's just I can't be bothered <laughs> changing right now because. <laughs> reasons but i did sign up for a i did you know i actually did sign up for a a woo account ages back and went through the um kyc um process i just haven't transferred any money over there yet to then um trade so um if you guys want me to do a live trading session where i have like a small amount on there and we can live stream like a trade or two i'm happy to uh to lose money for entertainment. Um, Don't worry, the Brotato Capital uh, Fund will uh, fund it. Yeah. We'll provide. I yeah. I think that'll be a sick yeah. little. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty. pretty Swiss rude. can actually run up some numbers with an actual technical system that he runs. Um, shout out the Trippier Discord as well, which is a very good place for Great Delta Discord. shit at the moment. Very like, good. it's actually incredibly useful. And Swiss puts a fuckload of time into it, and he doesn't really like speak about it much. I think he should speak about it more. Yeah, it's fucking I agree. Rad. You should post um, about it. And so, yeah, Swiss will actually be making money. I'm happy to do a version of my own, and you can literally watch what it looks like if you <laughs> pulled a random person off the street and asked them to trade perps. <laughs> yeah, it's like me. It's it'd be like the Olympics, but with normal people. You're like, ah, oh, so that's what it looks like when, when a typical guy tries to do this normal. shit, huh? <laughs> General Chris. Uh retarded? Is that better? Oh, I think now yeah, maybe. Uh Dio. Retardio, that's fine. Yeah. Uh opinions of my own. I just say it so I don't get cancelled. <laughs> Slash fired. Yeah. All that, all that, all that all that well shit. there goes the affiliate link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sats is like, sorry guys, got to pull the pr plug. This is <laughs> this is too offensive. I don't like it. Um, what was uh, I gonna say? Ah, oh, Sats. So what? I, I know you you've publicly gotten like a like a four or five hundred x on whiff. Um, I was just wondering like what 
uh, your highest convictions are at the moment. I know, like, we're probably all in similar bags, but I'd like to get your, like, view on what you think will go up in the future, you know, if Solana keeps ripping higher. Mm. Um, to be honest, I think just uh, Hex and uh, Staked <laughs> Ethereum is probably the best thing to write. Hey, Lido Staked Ethereum. <laughs> Yeah, Which jump is I'm, dumping uh, right now? But anyway. No proof, don't tell me that. Um, no, yeah. Like, I think we're in the exact same bag, so I'm going to say um, Soul and uh, Popcat Whiff. Um, I haven't really Axe. checked how much Whiff I have for a while. Um, it's just in a cold wallet. Perhaps every now and then. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good way to go. I do have some like limit orders set uh, from like ages ago on like Jupiter just on that wallet and then I just don't check it and I'll just like see if I have some like USDC or Sol I'm like oh hell yeah just randomly spawns in um, <laughs> it's actually the best trick that, it doesn't to do the exist. Jupiter yeah. yeah it's yeah. very smart I've never done it but I need to do it I, I, I like sometimes would do like back when I was like first buying Popcat I was like oh well the second time where I actually went big on Popcat I had like the DC. I was doing the DCAing for like four or five days. That was good, but I've never done the limit order. So I probably should try. Well, it, when you do the limit order, it disappears from your wallet, so you can't actually see what you have. So when you check your wallet, you can't get depressed. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh, that's true. oh yeah. I guess it's the same as the DCA when you like yeah. DC, the soul goes in. And it's like you don't actually have the, the soul in the wallet. It's pretty. Yeah, it's that's pretty good. <laughs> uh. But yeah, nah, good bags, good bags. When I was, when I was, you're still, uh, uh, you're still a main, your main bag's like still whiff, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I would say yeah. like, um, I'm, my bags are you have a big bag bags. of whiff, yeah, yeah. I got a big bag of whiff, big bag of popcorn, yeah. um, no, nice. like my main oh, bags, yeah. yeah. I think like it's pretty obvious, and like people are starting to notice it now, like the soul strength, just on any like bounce or anything. Isn't um, it even on the selling? The strength is fucking mm. phenomenal. Um, it's got so much mm. demand, like buyers compared to ETH. Like ETH had so many sellers, so did Sol, but then Sol had so many buyers. Like, but ETH hasn't got the buyers. So, mm. yeah, yeah. It's like um, Barry has just been selling relentlessly. You can't really do that on Sol. <laughs> Sol is like dust market cap compared to them. That's just the superior. Yeah, um, it's just there's so much to talk about. It's and if it doesn't Plus, work horse. out, I will simply disappear. <laughs> that is it. Yeah, might have to find a job if it, if it doesn't work out. But yeah, I think like if you think of like the main theme of the whole cycle, like if you ask most people when was the last time they used ETH, they'd probably say, "Uh, fuck," like a few months ago, and like it doesn't make sense that ETH is valued that much higher. Dude, sold. the only time I use ETH is to claim my airdrops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only like actual use case of ETH would be to buy Mog or Pepe <laughs> or Potter coin. Plus, uh, plus, if you think about the ETF stuff, it's like, do you want to buy the ETH ETF or do you want to buy the thing that will potentially get the ETF next and it's worth way way cheaper than ETH? So exactly. and more people can use it that. every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, it's a CIA coin, so why not? They won't let it die. Exactly. Cards are all lining up. Yeah. Like, Bitcoin's a <laughs> CIA one coin, and it's like right one trillion market cap, so. <laughs> it's up only forever. <laughs> That's where we're headed. Yeah. Nah, the strength's Fine, crazy. What's what's Sol ETH? Like, point zero point oh six. six. That's like, is that what? an all-time really? high? Yeah. Okay, 0.0606. Yeah, I saw it break out earlier. I sent it in. I was like, shoosh. Wow. Yeah. 0.06069. I wonder Sorry, what our smartest me. money is doing right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Vitamin's literally selling. <laughs> oh really that's the one thing i hate about eth man is yeah the fucking <laughs> the foundation is always selling it's like bro do you think satoshi's doing this exactly <laughs> Come right. on. i find it so funny Buddy, like, what the fuck are they doing with all the money what do they need it for no but you yeah. know what it is i looked up their salaries like everyone's like oh they gotta pay their employees i'm like bro they're on like 150k yeah why are they selling 100 million dollars <laughs> 
<laughs> There's only like 20 of them. Devs are there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah, like yeah. 20 devs. You need They're like two three They're buying croissants. <laughs> oh. It's so cucked. I don't understand it. <laughs> how, how bad yeah, was the... it on Monday when everything was nuking? Vitalik nukes that um, Nero oh, coin no. <laughs> for like like 80 ETH or like 140 Ooh. ETH or something. It's like, like bro, really, bro, you need that you're gonna, money? You're going to nuke it against all of these people that are losing money? Like, wow. And then he like tweets and he's and then like... And posts about L2s and <laughs> L2 he's like, well, fragment, you liquidity fragmentation. I was like... <laughs> Read, Read the, the fucking room, room Vital, Vitalik. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Vital. Dude, really yeah. Vital. Some by pressure to ease. <laughs> uh, We're solving sorry. the interoperability of L2 fragmentation charting. Mm. Nah. Do agree. Oh, it needs to be solved. I think. Uh, it does. I think there's a bridge that gets you from east to Sol. Yeah, wormhole, isn't it? It's pretty much it. It's called the yeah. Ethereum Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, are they, what are they fucking? Did doing? you see um Vitalik's they found yet? Co comment today? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, found it. aren't they found yet? What are they fucking finding? What did say? Um, aren't they found yet? <laughs> it's the foundation. <laughs> it's a foundation. Did you guys see Vitalik's comment today? Some dude wrote like. He wrote summary of Ethereum as of summer 2024. Holy shit, the network is slow and inefficient. Holy shit, the network's expensive. Holy shit, doesn't have any real world utility. And then Vitalik just comments back seven hours ago. I'm not sure where you're getting your information from. From where I'm sitting, L1 and L2s become uh, both confirmed. Uh, what's it called? Transactions within seconds. L2s cost under. He's just going on a rant about L2s again. We're like, bro, no one fucking cares. <laughs> <laughs> nice. it's like people would care more if the l2's <laughs> tokens were fucking actually worth something or maybe if they weren't AWS I saw, um... servers <laughs> i saw kane uh warwick talking about how there's no DeFi category at devcon oh bro. and just like the ethereum foundation not really mentioning Kaiki DeFi and he's like we were Kaiki. and he's like Kaiki on suicide watch <laughs> so like I mean DevCon's like the big like you know ETH fucking conference and there's no DeFi category That's at crazy. the conference like, they're just they're not I'm sure they're going to discuss it in some kind of way but Kane kind of came out and was like why the fuck is no one uh, like you know essentially bending over backwards to help DeFi or to yeah you know, or DeFi on on Ethereum like at scale and it's kind of like he was like you know what are the founding team kind of sneered at like still look down on DeFi when it's probably the main use of the network <laughs> so it's like guys anyway uh, I'm so glad I'm not in it for the tech stuff. this cycle yeah, yeah it's much better to have bar bags that you can laugh at yeah DeFi bear market way. progress Month twenty six. Yeah. D10's part. <laughs> <laughs> remember when? What was his like target? It was like thirty six months. Yeah, thirty six months. It's yeah, like remember when everyone now. and it like it like started to like creep up, and everyone was like, "Oh, oh my god!" Like everyone got so bullish. <laughs> yes. Oh uh, no. That was the I saw something DeFi the other day thing. that was that was about like DeFi showing signs of life, and it was just like these. Just, <laughs> Wait, kind of junk what? metrics of stuff being like a slight uptick in stuff and i'm like it's probably just positions on curve you know moving around during that huge fucking nuke that we oh, had man. so anyway because curve liquidity held up really well uh, a bunch of v3 pools did not have as much fun but funnily enough curve was was pretty strong so thank you michael egorov for that <laughs> holy shit <laughs> I just pulled up a curve chart and I've got like my charts that I did from like 2021. It's like down oh, no. only. It's down only. The 1L squiggle. How's it looking? Uh, like I had like a range like built on it from like when it was like $5 or some shit. And then I was like. Oh, dear God. Uh, that, that is a brutal chart. Of a. Lol. Launching at fifteen dollars in August. Wow, uni. 
Do you guys ever think we're like too far ahead of the herd? And so we've already rationalized in our mind that like DeFi is garbage to hold. But like this is now just like exciting and fresh for people that are now like entering the space and seeing that there's more to crypto than just like coins going up and down. Ooh. In a way, but it's like the DeFi narratives kind of changed. There needs to be things that like facilitate uh, stuff happening. So mm. just like random fucking L2 coins that for governance, no one gives a fuck about. Um, but like if it's a coin uh, that gets like utility from you know, like servicing volume, so you can like swap into your meme coins better, like at better prices and everything, like that's always going to be bullish. Yeah, because uh, it's essentially what the users are kind of into now that would um, reverberate for new people coming on board. So if we use it, we're more likely to refer it and talk about it, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. 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 I think maybe like stuff like Uniswap, uh, now that's got a fee switch on, which obviously it had its pump like back in March for, like maybe <laughs> is in- interesting. Like if they start making the utility coins like actually have utility rather than just governance, like yeah, that's, uh, right. that's exactly it. That. Yeah, I think that would be good, but no one, none of the coins have really done it successfully yet because I think everything's still attention driven at the moment rather than like fundamentals. But I think that like if that flips a little bit and a lot of these products as well, I think the downside to a lot of these coins at the moment is cause they're all ETH based and like ETH's not really getting the activity. Like there's not as much bullishness on it. Whereas like stuff like you talked about the other day, Swiss, the JLP stuff like is good, mm. gets attention cause um, it's a highly used product. Um, and, and obviously the chart reflects, you know, the, that sort of uh, utility. So like JLP is obviously a great utility token. Um, oh shit! It nuked really hard after the Taiki pod. <laughs> we put it into Galactic <laughs> Pop. Oh, but it's oh back! No. But it's back. Yeah, that's insane. Damn. Yeah, it's, that's it's everyone just being like, I don't want to provide liquidity anymore. What's what's Orca, <laughs> Orca look like? Like Orca? Uh, why why is it coming up with dog whiff hat? On like the Orca token. Oh, hmm. What about Ray? What's Radium look like? Yeah, but like, oof. oof. Yeah. Uh, oh no, people, right, people it looks good. Like, looks good. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if Radium has, like, rev share. Does it? I no, know, like, it doesn't. Staking, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just more Ray. Yeah. And like, all their fees. Like, people get excited when they see the fees, and then they like, want to go like, buy the coin or whatever, and then they just get wrecked because people are dumping it. Um, the fees aren't to like aren't to stakers or anything. It's like those are just to the LP holders and stuff. True. So it's like, oh, when you see it's going to be so many fees, it's like, yeah, that's in come part swap Inu. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, not in, like, it's not none of it's going back to the fucking project. It's yeah, it's like pump fund. It's, yeah, if Pump Fund had a token, it would be. Oh, did you see uh-huh. that? Um, you see that? What's it called? Wrapped Dog Token. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm seeing that a lot. Like, what is what is it go that? It's it's like so they didn't. It's pretty funny. So like the whole point of the Wrapped Dog Token was like they they didn't make a telegram, but they were like the the group chat was like on Pump Fund. <laughs> so oh, like, I saw yes. that. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just, it was funny as because like I remember Mitch last week was like talking on a pod, and he was just like, "Bro, like you only need CT, like you don't need like Telegram, like for your CTOs or whatever, like it's just the shit, like blah blah." And then this coin just like randomly starts just the group chats like on pump fun, <laughs> and like yeah, it went to like twenty mil, like it went from like two mil yesterday. I saw it at two mil. I like didn't really buy it, but um, yeah, fuck, went really quickly. Yeah, I saw the updates that they posted on Pump Fund today. So, I'm trying to see if yeah, I can actually find funny. it. So I don't think go. I've been on Pump Fund for so long. I went I on there like, it. yeah, it's fucked. Oh yeah, the chat just goes on for forever or something. Holy, Holy shit! shit. <laughs> Some like, of those chats are like the... mental. Um, 
Oh like man, I, oh, some of them I went on crazy. there and it was like, I don't know. I tried to participate and then obviously lost money, but like I was like, damn! Like everyone is like abusing whoever created this coin, and <laughs> like the liquidity got rugged at like two k, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. It's a bit... <laughs> The wow. funniest was like, the, I went on Pump Fun like on Monday because I'm like, there's just no way like these people are still gambling on here. Like, obviously, there are still people gambling on here, but it was just fucking funny. Like, it was just business as usual on Pump Fun. Like, the whole fucking global economy was collapsing on Monday. <laughs> and these motherfuckers it's are just like, future. yeah, these motherfuckers are just going ham trying to find the next fucking. Like, I saw a coin and I actually, I think it actually went up quite high it was the ticker was black swan i'm like this looks fucking old. i was like I, I was the ticker was just swan but like it was like black swan i'm like this is fucking hilarious i should put some money in but then i'm like uh i'm already like losing like fucking yearly wages today like i don't really want to fucking get rugged even more but yeah apparently do it right initially but yeah i guess like to wrap that earlier point up, it's probably the 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 DeFi to tokens probably make sense on a network that's got activity and there's still trades to be had there. But probably the ETH DeFi ones probably suck right now because ETH sucks. But if ETH becomes as a pump again, I'm sure they have. A bit yeah, of a it's all like it's all the ETH native tokens. I mean, even the shit ones will like have some sort of pump. Like even. You know, LDO yeah. and stuff. They're not gonna fucking go crazy like Pepe and Mog, but they'll they'll go up a bit. It's just yeah, he's cocked. Nice. That's stupid. Right? Sorry guys, I got distracted. I was on pump fun. <laughs> <laughs> in the trenches, bro. Straight back in after uh, the reset, the one day recession. Sats, oh, is man, there dude, like any this... airdrops that you're farming right now? Do you farm airdrops, Seth? Um, not really. The, I like inadvertently farm, um, because they're the they're always the best ones. Like <clears throat> things like Judo. Uh, yeah, yeah that, I love like, Judo. You know, randomly pays you for actually like things that you're using. Um, they're always the best. So obviously, yeah. like I've technically I've farmed the orderly airdrop because that's the, like the infrastructure for Wi-Fi Pro like liquidity books. Um. And but yeah, like that's just for trading, like my perp trading there. It's pretty much just that. Yeah, yeah nice. nice. Yeah, nice. I can't be bothered to be doing all that stuff. It's just a kind of like circle jerk of bots. Yeah, <laughs> it becomes yeah, like a full time it? job kind of, and it's like, I, yeah. I didn't create my what? job to to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what was the airdrop that um? Was it layer zero or that like mm -hmm. penguins got yeah. like a certain amount and then dudes that farmed for like an entire year got like way less? Was that layer zero? Dimension. Or was that? Uh, oh, no, no, sorry, no, no, no. It's DK. It's DK. DK. That was the one. Yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah. layer zero. It was DK. Yeah, dude, fucking... yeah, fuck. I couldn't believe some. Like I saw there's a few people. I remember Hikaru like put it up on his, um, like on his account and it was like he farmed for like a whole year and like somehow me just holding like a penguin got more and i was like this is so unfair <laughs> like how's that even like allowed oh Kyrie's listening yeah. right now too sorry Kyrie. is he <laughs> yeah Fuck. So sorry Kyrie. <laughs> yeah he's like both Don't worry, I'm on, I'm on, layer zero I'm on, I'm on your side <laughs> yeah it's uh yeah fuck those dudes but yeah i think like airdrops are probably done for a bit but i think you probably get a, a short-term upside one. And then Kyra said he bought his penguin like four weeks late. So oh, he like... yes, you remember. He told me that at Z's uh, the night we had with Z. I fucking... He actually said, I fucking bought my penguin like literally like a few weeks later or something. I was like, oh, fuck. That sucks. That sucks. I still think airdrops are a good idea. Bro, it's free money, yeah. Like, if it's not like <laughs> overly intensive. I feel like they're still good. It's just yeah. the fucking R and R's gone down a lot yeah. lately. Like, I yeah. think the ones that you have to like bridge to a fucking some random obscure L three or like L <laughs> ten or whatever it is by that fucking point. Um, you pay like you know three three percent fees on a, on the bridge, uh, and then have like a seven day withdraw period or whatever. Uh, and all you can do over there is 
hold fucking ETH or like <laughs> and borrow against yeah. ETH to huge. Um, yeah, then that makes me want to um, like run into a ceiling fan or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, fair. Yeah, the best ones always are the ones like you said uh, you didn't expect. That was like ENS last cycle. I, I remember I got my ETH ENS and then I was did like, you yeah, get cool. that? So how yeah, did yeah. you get that? Like, what so was the? All I did was I made an ENS. I made I made the one L dot ETH oh. like address, and then like I did it like a month before the airdrop came out. I just wanted the one L dot ETH thing because I thought it was. And cool. what did you get? Twenty K like USD. How... Oh my god! Jesus! <laughs> oh, last yeah. cycle. Was... I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That's and then wild. I proceeded to lose it all on DeFi kingdoms, but still, it was uh, <laughs> it was still cool. And then same with Gito, like I I did like my ten soul of Gito or whatever, oh, and then I got like thirty grand, and then I still sold that really low, which I shouldn't have. But anyway, so right. Dime was Dime was good. I cashed good. that one out. Dime was so good. Yeah, I actually cashed that one out at a decent price, but yeah. Well, yeah, I feel like I just cash all as as the analogy that Taiki gave us. Would you buy like if you got a ten thousand dollar airdrop? Would you buy that token with ten thousand dollars? Like you just wouldn't. So why the fuck would you <laughs> yeah. hold it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you cash. wouldn't hold it. You just stake it. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this the yeah. dime stakers. <laughs> There's more airdrops, guys. Don't talk to me about it. I staked half my fucking dime, dude. It's still there. It's still there. I got the. Oh, I've forgotten what oh. token it was. I, staked like I think it was Nim. It was dime. Nim. Yeah, Nim. Yeah, Nim. Oh, I got, and I, I was got, like, sweet, here we go. And it was, I think, $500. Oh. You got 500 I think I got I got like $14. Oh, no, no, no. Nim, oh. no. Nim, I got like, it was like $250 when I was expecting like. Yep. Five thousand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I think by the time I like grabbed it and, and actually sold it, it was worth like two hundred and fifty bucks, which is fucking wild. I don't I know, bro. Like... Dime looks pretty good. Didn't make a low <laughs> on the weekly. <laughs> I just want to know who's actually trading these coins. Yeah. Like, Same. is that the actual Ooh. people like perps trading these? <laughs> like, dear God. It's what I don't understand. Oh, like, he's... how does it work? Like, you know, when the markets turn, like all of these coins start moving upwards. It's like, surely people aren't like, oh really? my God, bottom's in, I'm buying dime. Yeah, I know. But like, it's just weird because like, you think about these coins at launch and they're like, oh my God, they're free shorts. But like, I just can't, I can't short them because like, what if they go up? <laughs> like, Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But, well, but Dime's MPV is still a cool 1.2 billion. That's so oh, um, oh. Are you diddling my clip? Are you fucking serious? Yep. <laughs> yep. How much? So how market cap is 200 as well. Because that's the only thing to do is it stake it. Oh, yeah. Token unlocks. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's look at that release schedule. I wonder how Where's Team is yeah, yeah, going like... to get theirs. Sure, yeah, well, I remember seeing the guy behind uh, Dime be like, no. Soul launched at a massive valuation and like posted its chart, and I was like, "Brother, oh. Soul launched at a five hundred million dollar FDV." Yeah, you launched it. I, I know it was like what it was, but I think it was like three and a half billion or something like ridiculous. Oh yeah, so. it was um, and it's a Cosmos coin. That's a cos cursed Cosmos, <laughs> it's a Cosmos coin. coin. Dude, the Cosmos doesn't it's exist. Gonna... Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's not uh. real. Hot take, ETH is the cosmos of this cycle. I mean, you haven't been wrong, so I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to sit here and be like, Hey, but hang on. The ETF just came out. Give it, give it a few months. But I, I don't think anyone should months. transact on like, Ethereum mainnet. Just fucking ever, bro. It's like, just use, yeah. if you have to use Arbitrum, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yep. Maybe they'll give you some, all the good stuffs. Bro. Which you can sell on ARB. Yep. Uh, holy shit. Bybit has delisted Canto pups. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. wow. Remember oh, Canto? No, Canto, holy man. Shit. Canto. Holy shit. The real world asset chain. Oh my God. It just nuked. <laughs> did it actually? Yeah. It Wait, why, from... did you, why did they delist this? Just because they don't get any volume? Or was there like a fundamental reason? Yeah, it's just the perps. I don't know if they have spot, but um, 
So it's oh. usually just being because of like <laughs> Kanto <laughs> is just it. is going yeah. directly into the like ground. I feel like that's just gonna be all these coins eventually. Cue the like, just how many one it so went to zero. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's got a market cap of 26 million. <laughs> FTV of 42 oh, million. What's friends market cap now? Oh, God. I, I thought I was friends an idiot. I was 10. like, oh, my God, I sold it at like a dollar eighty. Why would I sell it so early? Your friend to 10. There we go. It's happened. 10 oh, mil. 10 million. It's not, it's not $10, <laughs> but it is 10. Bro, I can't believe it actually <laughs> went for like, like a, I mean, no one could really sell it at the time. There was like a few people that were like actually actively selling it, but it was like I checked my airdrop. I'm like, Ooh! and it was worth like it was like ten or twelve dollars or something. And I was like, oh my god, like I've got like twenty grand USD. Like I didn't, I didn't think I thought I was gonna get like nothing. And then obviously I couldn't fucking sell it, so it was pointless. But yeah, that sucked. Yeah, I was at my brother's wedding when I when I got it, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll. I was doing a piss, and I was like, "I'll just try to sell this here." And yeah, I just couldn't do anything. I was like, oh, no. "Fuck this, man! I'm getting. I'm just gonna go out there and drink." And then I <laughs> just didn't get to sell any. I was fuck. Dumped it like the next day or something. Yeah, I dumped it. I thought I dumped it at the lows. I'm like, "Oh, I'm such an idiot! It's gonna go to like ten dollars." And yeah, but so many big accounts were like, "This is the biggest psyops dump of all time," and I was like, "Oh no." I'm gonna miss out on friend to friend to ten, but uh, here that we are. That didn't happen. And, yeah, well, it it it's it happened today, I guess. That ten million. Ten million, jeez, jeez. Has Racer like have they have they like said anything or have they just no, obviously just completely disappeared? Because they were gonna like yeah. make their own L two or something. Yeah, they, that would have like gotten a little. Yeah, that would have gotten a little pop, like <laughs> or at least oh. a day or two. Did someone say? <laughs> I love that fucking noise, man. It makes me. It's so good. <laughs> when I first bought the coin, I was like manifesting it. Like, I was literally just like on my phone. I'd go on the Popcat website and just pop like every. Whenever I was just bored, I would just pop for like 30 seconds. Hmm. All right. Was, uh... Tell me more about that. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I went on the website and pop. And that's, yeah. <laughs> Pretty, pretty, uh, interesting behavior, sticks. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. I endorse it. Should, uh, the neat, pop, the neat pop to the girls on hinge. <laughs> yeah, Fuck, you, maybe I should change. You, you know what? I, I've got, yeah, I've got the whiff dog as one photo, and it gets a lot of, uh, a lot of reactions, which is good. Future wife, they know what it is. The cute dog, Sats. Um, just sticking to woo real quick. Do you have a rough idea of like the differences between Woo and say some of the other exchanges out there? Like anything that just comes to mind um, that you think users of Woo should know about in comparison to other exchanges? I guess. Um, are you referring to like the centralized exchange or WooFi? Like yeah, decentralized right now. Uh. Well, that shows Maybe. how much I pay attention. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll just I'll do like chill us both. You have, yeah. It's like, tell us more about Wu Fi. Fuck, I was just about to go into Wu. Yeah, no, just, just start damn. with the Wu X and then go to Wu Fi. I, um, so basically, like, as we talked about earlier, like the like FTX PT, PTSD, mm. um, that should be like people's main priority with like wanting to like if you're trading on a centralized exchange you should know like you're secure and everything um and like we were the first to have um like proof of reserves and like liabilities like live dashboards so you can see them like 24 7 uh, yep. with like merkle tree proofs and everything of like your assets you can check your own account and everything um we have like the live custody ratios and reserve ratios uh, like that's just stuff that to me is just like the the best thing ever <laughs> um, yeah. you should be able to know exactly that your assets are actually there like they're not being uh, you know sent on a Bahamas cruise and stuff like that 
Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, Where and is like Sanji yeah, on the central Bar? exchange. Um, people kind of meme about um, KYCs and everything, but our KYCs are like really like um really effective. Like we don't let in like uh you know just uh, anyway. who's that guy like uh our god or whatever our god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you can't yeah he's got an mia like, after not just people buying bahamas fucking <laughs> uh, kycs and shit like that citizens um, of palau mm, yeah come come use my ref link uh, <laughs> you know it's just like a really well run and oiled machine uh, yeah things are getting better all the time um like there's some really sick fucking partnerships and like all the all the big market makers are there on like mm. woo um is that part of the deep liquidity just... yeah so yeah there's like all selini went to mute all those people uh nice. quoting the trading take taking your money off you <laughs> um thanks geordie <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just fucking love it, man. Nice. And then yeah. Wu Fi. Um, yeah. Uh, so like for the people that want to, you know, be dabbling in the old uh, decentralized exchanges, um, I'll just talk about Wu Fi Pro because like Wu Fi is different. It's like a Dex, but um, Wu Fi Pro is the no KYC pubs, um, Omni Chain. So. You can. I don't know how many chains it's on right now, but it's like pretty much any fucking EVM chain you have access to. You can uh, one, two, three, bridge like your money six, on and trade seven, on like one global account. Nine chains. Um. So it's not like if you deploy, uh, you deposit from like base, and then you also deposit from like mainnet. You know, you your liquidity is all like trading in the same account so you can top up from like wherever the fuck you have the collateral um also like we've already hinted at like a solana deployment um so Ooh. that would be fucking sick to be honest yeah, which yeah. Be good. yeah that would be best um, yeah uh you're trading it's it's on chain you can um verify your proof of assets and everything um yeah it's like a the order book is powered by orderly network which is um it's got like i don't know how many uh places they power now but it's like one global order book so you, uh, the liquidity is always just going to be like better than like if you're just trading on like our front end um so that's just a better experience yeah um like you know gasless trading that's fucking yes. amazing yeah. I hate um I think that was like a massive thing for people that went to like FTX and everything it's like uh, you could do things on chain but it just really couldn't it sucked um you couldn't execute things fast enough you couldn't you know run bots uh, do all that shit you had to make like I don't know 10 transactions a day before you want to kill yourself um but now you can I can just like you know, click buttons, spam buttons, enter trades with like my keys and shit. It's God it makes me horny. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> nice, nice Heck man. Yeah. Yeah. No, Thanks for that. was a good that. show. That was a very good show. Very smooth mm. experience too. Dude, you're That's not sad. even like during that. I literally I bought some soul on it. Like I was just like going through. 20 different tabs and like looking at everything while talking about it and then i like i popped up to this like my soul chart and just like, and bought more soul yeah. <laughs> you gotta post that pnl chart so man was noticed yeah was nervous <laughs> oh you want to see my, my pnl oh no oh. <laughs> yeah, now yeah. I, I need time for these things like, like, <laughs> now just the card the pnl cards are the best on wi-fi pro there's some yeah, cool little yeah i like them actually yeah there's some cool shit i like very it. very based yeah nice um just maybe a question from me but if 
uh, you were to give some advice to people you've been around for a while now on um, in the cycle what would you recommend like especially after this week hmm um don't like rush into shit and ignore fucking pump fun pretty much um you probably make more money uh, trading established things at this stage than, yeah i agree you know gambling uh, lottery tickets uh that's all fun and it might work but you know probably fucking won't um dude that's I, pretty much all i can say i think that one's an underrated one because everything all the all these new meme coins their valuations keep declining but that but they're not they're not keeping up with like the established memes in the sense of like like popcat with um like like stuff like i'm looking at a lot of stuff and everything all the liquidity is just so thin on on solana right now that you're better off just going for established memes that can get mm. bids on stuff like Bybit or you know actual has actual liquidity outside of Solana because you don't know these coals and fucking um you know these insiders are just stealing everyone's money basically so yeah I don't think there's a single market maker that is buying any of your or trading any of your coins on Pump Fun but, you know, <laughs> the other ones that's like a a slight security, you know, you can get in and out of trades. Um, it's, um, I was yeah, like, pump on, man. I think it's just going to get to a stage where, well, it already is, like, it's just like the bots trading against each other, but like, uh, you're seeing more like terminal things pop up where you could just like set limit orders and everything. So I think it's just going to be like a instant cheat and like people auto snipe into things with like the tiniest amounts and then like sell them, you know dump on you um and then that any real user is just not gonna make it but like the bots can make like i don't know one in ten and then like just take the shekels from you um, i think you're just stupid if you're fucking around there to be honest yeah dude it's absolutely brutal like it, it used to be before the bots you know before people were running scripts for it it used to Much be like one of those places good. You could go to and be like, fuck yeah, picking up money off the ground, basically. But now it is literally just like, you put a bid in and it's like, yeah. The mm. Pump Fund dashboard has like little uh, warning signs of like, this transaction may have originated from a bot. And if you scroll down the list of trades, it is excuse exclusively bots. Like there's probably like <laughs> two human users every like five, 10 minutes on any given coin. And when things are launched on Pump Fun now, it's typically like people that have agreed, like beforehand, like "Hey, let's let's send this." It's not just people going and being like, "Oh, this is funny." Yeah, I'll I'll send it. The only good thing about Pump Fun, well, um, the early days was that the liquidity would be locked and everything, and yep. like automatically sent to Radium so that people could actually trade it and stuff. So if the dev dumps and then um people sent it to wherever the fuck like graduation or whatever the fuck they call it where it goes to radium mm. that's like the best possible outcome like he's sold before it's um deployed before, yeah and then you know there's actually radium. maybe but... some real people buying it yeah yeah but Oh, there was a stat the other day that was like 90 something percent of coins launched on pump fund i think it was like 99 percent of coins launched just don't make it to radium which makes sense because it's like you could literally just two dollars to make a coin infinitely <laughs> create new coins and like no yeah. one will ever see them or it won't even show up it might get one bot being like oh yeah, yeah the the bot coin i tried to launch this. didn't didn't work um jeet with hat so jeet with hat jeet with hat <laughs> still did you jeet it as a dev no, it's I still still have it, and uh, it's the original G. It's still there. It's the first ever G with hat coin. But there's oh quite my a god, few we're more. gonna go buy this and pump it right now. Come on, guys! Financial Come on, guys. advice. Pump it to like five K market cap. <laughs> it's it's currently Jeez. got a four four K market cap apparently. 
Oh, oh shit. I don't think I've ever seen... No, G- just, I, I do oh. remember you saying you're going to do it for a laugh and just like leave it there and see what happens. The, the dev has 0.69% supply, being me. <laughs> 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 but but the, there seems to be many people that have the same idea as me and none of it ever took off, so... But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty insane the amount of like tickers that just pop up in this thing every oh. two seconds. It's uh, quite schizo. I was going through it like a week ago, and like it was all my whole thing was just like some like just photos from the internet or like people actually take photos of their pets, and it was just like all of like cute dogs. So there was like it was like the in like the the five hundred thousand derivative of like whiff and i'm just like ah oh, this is so tiresome <laughs> I'm like no yeah. one's beating these they're just cute animals like it's like it's the, just... the devs have realized that it needs to be a cute cute animal for it to have a chance of going but it's like why not just fucking buy an established cute animal yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the whole thesis now it's like oh yeah. Everyone wants to play their hand at being like, oh, I'm going to get the thing at 10k market yeah. cap. And it's like, no, you probably won't. And why is <laughs> everything a community takeover before it's even launched? Yeah. <laughs> Dev I'm sold at 30k market cap. It's like, guys, this I'm is not good. It. It's like, bro, it hasn't even <laughs> got the radium. But... <laughs> the coin's like, just launched. We need a CTO. I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, so funny. The yeah, original Jeet with hat, you say? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do a good job of it. So, it's fine. I didn't even know what wallet I launched it with. I heard it's going on the Sphere. Yeah. <laughs> the Sphere! Dude, ironically, that would be the funniest thing ever if, like, a derivative of Whiff was put on the Sphere, on the sphere before, before Whiff. <laughs> like Billy, yeah. Pop That'd cat. So funny. Yeah, the cat that pops. Yeah. Just something that's not even a token. Do you <laughs> have any like thoughts on the cat. Sphere? I know you've like commented about it a few times on your, on your <laughs> feed. Yeah. Um, do you, yeah, Sats, do you have any thoughts on the sphere? What, what, what's your um, take? Hmm. Uh, I think it's a great thing. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just, you know, I'm glad that uh, money is sitting there waiting to deploy onto the sphere. It's going to be so yeah. awesome. It's coming. <laughs> Very efficient use of right, capital. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're I think they're deploying it pixel by pixel, so it's like it's taking a really long time because it's like <laughs> trillions. Um, but it's fucking getting there. Yeah, yeah, it'll happen. It'll happen. Cool. That All is right. my opinion on the sphere. Fuck yeah. Um, do we want to talk about the recovery that's happened after the nuke? That's something I kind of wanted to. I'm not sure if Swiss is still with us. ATM. Um, I am. Yeah, he is. Do you know what I'm actually I'm, doing? I'm actually doing? like going through the KYC process for Wu. Um, oh shit! And I've actually been it like taking photos of your documentation is like <laughs> so painful. And I remembered why I didn't go through with it last time was because I just tried to take a photo, and it's like, sorry, uh, image yeah, is not in frame and blurry, and it's like for fuck's sakes. Yeah. So anyway, I, I will I will say this about Wu X, like the actual the exchange, because I set up my business accounts. Um, so I I went through the process. I tried to do it with Coinbase. Tried to do it with Kraken. Tried to do it with Wu, and um, Coinbase was near on impossible. So I just gave up. <laughs> um, I did it with Kraken, and I did it with Wu, and Wu was the easier one of the two, and approved my application first. Um, and was still fairly detailed compared to um, all the others, um, but it was definitely a much uh, more considered process and made a lot more sense than what like Coinbase was trying to do because that was fucked. Uh, didn't even make any sense. So I was pretty happy about that. Yeah, nice. I still haven't done my KYC on Woo, but I remember doing trying to do Kraken and, and just being like, "What the fuck is happening Dude, here?" Kraken took me. It so took me long. like it took like three yeah. weeks, and this was back when we were bidding some random <laughs> coin that Swiss was like, "Fuck yeah," and it was moving well too. And I was like, "No, I just want some funds on fucking Kraken so I can buy this coin." And it took like two <laughs> weeks for my KYC to go through. And I was like, "I, I, I had to do Kraken what? like um, user support DMs." Off-ramp like multiple oh, times really? to get it through whereas like woo i didn't have to do a thing <laughs> it was yeah uh, kraken was a pain in the ass i think yeah, i did it i don't yeah what the fuck i remember that 
You crack and I'm like, I, it was just something really weird about. I remember I like went to do okay. it, yeah, and like as you said, it was like really weird, and I, it like just wouldn't work. And then I was like, I oh, give up, like I'll just do it the next day, and then like forgot about it, or whatever. And then I think they like sent me a, uh, like a like a notification or an, like I think it was an email, not a text, or anything. it was like you must verify like KYC with us or you're you won't be able to like move funds or whatever and I'm like fucking hell this is so but I and I knew like it was an off ramp for like AED so I'm like oh gotta do it. Yeah and then it's only use case. <laughs> yeah it's just like so I can buy hoodies. This is the eighth um, time it's declined me. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to get like a different documentation. I think yeah. it, it like gets into my camera and I think it's getting into the wrong camera and it, everything's blurry and it's like we can't oh. read your documentation and I'm like Dude. fuck. Are you, you an like, Android you user, Swiss? What do you? Have? Oh yeah, Doc me is a pleb. All right, here we go. Ah, there go. we go. <laughs> there we go. That's the real reason. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I, I had to do something like that, um, and it was using like I think it's like because you know there's like a few cameras on your fucking yeah. Phone? It's got like three, and it's getting yeah. into the one that's like the most zoomed out one. Yeah. And it's like fuck. So I think it's I think it's like the provider because it's like I couldn't change it. And like, yep. if I try to move it closer, it's just blurry. And like, you try to move it the other way, it's like it's too far away. It's like, fuck, man. Oh, so you had the same thing, man. That's exactly what I'm going through right yeah, now like, with this. The, I didn't have it on Wii. I had it somewhere else. So I think it's yeah. just like some sort of like, I don't know, document thingy bubble. Yeah. We march on. I will get this set up. Not to worry. But um, what was your original question, Tom, about the uh, the markets? Um, I wanted to talk about some little theses, um, to do with, you know, the recovery and how well we bounce back. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like on Monday I had a very visceral experience of having <laughs> my, my risk managed for me by the market and not doing it voluntarily beforehand. Me <laughs> so yeah. bullish. That was the main um, thing. I, I did. I did. But it was, it was one of those things where I was like, huh, okay. Like, I don't think it's. We, I don't know. I was just, we, we I, were I felt like groaning it... to each other on Discord for about an hour. We were like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is, this is not good. Like, it, it's pretty wild being down. Like, particularly on, because I'm, you can probably tell from this conversation that I'm desperately over allocated to memes, but it was pretty wild watching the port nuke. Under allocated. Like, 70% from all time highs. And then being like, yeah, I'm gonna bid the, I'm gonna bid this more. Yeah, that was um, funny. When you that bid, was you, you, you were bidding puff out like sub thirty cents, and I was like, lol. It that's was like four thirty in the afternoon, and it was one of those moments where I like I went to bed and just kind of questioned my sanity. <laughs> like I was like, this is either gonna be the best decision or the worst decision I've ever made, and it was only really like hindsight. I did have that slight inkling of like. I don't think it's as bad like and I, and I think it will bounce probably just because something's blowing up and everything will be fine but I was also yeah I was in two minds and I was going to chat to I wanted did want to ask Swiss where he thinks like how much recovery how much bounce do you see coming into memes because it's like I'm of the trade that I want to be slightly re like better at managing risk when things move higher and be like, okay, cool. I'm de-risking at signs of froth <laughs> properly instead of moving my targets up even higher. How which, funny! Which I is not something I was do. like. Your original target like months ago was like one dollar <laughs> pop cat, <laughs> and you're just like, oh, let's move it up now. <laughs> it, Literally, it hit, hit ninety nine cents, so it wasn't quite a dollar. <laughs> oh, technically, yeah. Uh, if it was well, on like, five, it's like good because the limit order never would have gone through. Like, I actually true, looked true, on true. Jupe, and I was like, okay, that's saving grace. But I did edit. Uh, to bump that initial TP up to like a dollar twenty five. So I was like, "No, nah, bro, trust me, Binance fisting's coming." And I was like, "Yeah." And then I as, I was, rumors. as I was sitting at my fucking laptop, I was like, "I'm the dumbest person that's ever lived." At, like at Popcat at twenty eight cents, I was like, "This, I'm truly, I'm a broken man." Um, but let's type, buy some more. But I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I did want to chat with. Uh, Sorry, ask uh, Swiss. I don't know, like, how much do you think is this, like, just, you know, kind of like recovery euphoria? And yeah, where do you think memes are headed to from here? Swiss, <laughs> Swiss and I were talking or, about or it just, earlier. Like, just coins in general or memes. Memes, memes specifically. And oh, then over to Satswasi as well, because I, I want to hear, hear his take. 
on this. I have a feeling I, I know what he's going to say, but... Who goes first? Wonal, I feel like you're probably more clued into the memes than I am. <laughs> um, yeah, mate. Um, so I guess my take would be I'm still somewhat skeptical Don't say it. of the move because, and I, I, and I only preface this with when when everything was like, fucking nuking on monday my thought process in like my sober mind was okay we probably like v bounce off of here because this seems overblown but like when it goes back to like levels i was willing to i should have sold out before i should probably think about selling anyway that happened we're reaching those levels and i'm like fuck yeah it's going up like we're, we're so back and then i'm thinking to myself like bro like when you were sober and like prices were low, like this was your plan. And then now that like the prices are here, you're like a fucking bull tart again. So I'm being like somewhat like cautious, but in saying that I do think like the, the speed of the move, it was good because like you, slow bleeds are always bad and fast moves uh, are, are good because they, they're generally drawn out of excess or like some sort of like, um, some sort of like flash sale, like I need to get out of a position ASAP uh, and sort of like fear driven thing. And so given that, that most of that happened on a Friday night and then positioned over the weekend, like people couldn't position for it, but there was so much uncertainty. And then it was absolutely hilarious. Like if you go on any of the charts and you see like at the point we bottomed, it was literally on the like second or minute that the U S markets opened at like, uh, 11 30 PM, like our time. So like what that said to me was like, uh, from in a positive side was that like most of the move was driven by like the uncertainty. So like 24 hour markets, like didn't get to position properly. Burgers woke up, got to open on the market was like, you guys are fucking retarded. Um, and then bid. And then like JGB comes out, like today and like fully like one eighties on like their position from like a macro sense. And, you know, so like all of the, the signals there are just like showing that, like, I don't know, this was probably overblown and like people were like doom, doom pawning themselves like into selling. Um, so, and, and then from a crypto side, like jump crypto was trying to exit as soon as possible, obviously, cause they were doing it over a weekend rather than when there was liquidity. So it's probably like a bit of excess, like to the downside. So I think, the move up is probably warranted. Um, and the fact that like something like Seoul didn't close on a daily, like a high time frame, like daily didn't close lower than before, like structurally it looks pretty good. So I don't know. I, I feel like there's still room for caution, but at the same time, like structure still looks pretty good. And like, it's probably was well-timed given like the previous couple of weeks of like horniness we got after the Trump um, event. But that's like my take on it all okay nice nice nice, nice. Swiss? Swiss thoughts um yeah pretty similar to I guess what Wona was sort of talking about I think the fast move down is generally pretty healthy um because there's not a move particularly too many people can really be prepared for so it sort of does a pretty good reset on everyone's current understanding of where we are in the market and everyone sort of has to reevaluate their positions. Um, leading up to the dump, I didn't see too much volume. It was sort of like um, the tap was turned off. And so all these little micro bounces didn't have much in them. Um, I did not expect the sell-off to be this bad. Um but I think the probability of something like this happening again um, in like a short period of time sort of diminishes. So if you were looking for a place to at least have some sort of like reversion play bet to at least capitalize on some like short-term profits, it would have been at the lows. Um, I think we could see pop in price where it would go back up but i don't necessarily think that that's strength i just think that the market is next going to flow to where like 
the larger amount of liquidity is. So it could actually come back and retest the lows if that's where the next large um, sort of price auctions are going to be. Or mm-hmm. it just sort of like, um, I don't know what the correct word I'm looking for here, but just basically just the PA doesn't make sense. And so any low low time frame moves will probably make people feel like impulsive to have a bias direction on it. But then you'll just get like a... 12% candle upwards and people will think that we're back and that might be the case but I just think price is just going to move to where liquidity is next I generally think that's higher up um, and not further down at this stage but um, like it, it's quite dependent on equities and so equities at the moment in the pre-market seem to be up which is healthy so that might be like tomorrow or overnight we might get that sort of like like ETH God candle that just takes us just to under three K. Um, but yeah, I'm not really holding out for anything other than <clears throat> I think the worst of that nuke is over and it's just going to be pretty boring from here on out is my general thing with memes. I think I've come to the conclusion that whiff needs to succeed in order for other memes to succeed and soul needs to go up. So like soul's going up, which is good. Um, and whiff is hanging in there. I think if it, never ever goes back down to a dollar again i think that would be quite good and so if whiff does well um i think that'll make popcat do well which will make all the others do well so i think as long as soul does well i think everyone's consensus is that memes on soul will continue to do well but i don't see a world where whiff goes down and other memes go up if that makes sense i feel like Mm -hmm, whiff is the the market leading uh, risk indicator for memes. And so if WIF does well, I think all assets do well. Um, and if WIF does poorly, I think most assets will follow um, in terms of like memes on Sol. That's just yeah. my like quick thoughts that I've got, but obviously that can change in the future. Uh, but yeah. I would agree with that. Probably just a quick tidbit there. You mentioned the volume before. Um, mm. I'll just share the chart. Uh, I was sharing the chart. Um, the sell volume on Sol Binance was the highest selling volume since the FTX crash. Oh, yeah. at the at the lows. Yeah, at the at the lows. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Sweet. So, and well, like that would by, be a, by yeah. a substantial amount. So, like, you normally don't see those like high volume sell levels unless it's like a very significant bottom um, volume wise. Um, if you look back historically, um, and yeah, given it was quite a substantial difference. Uh, versus like the past 12 months, uh, 24 months almost, because it was November 22. That was like the next highest um, sort of volume candle. So it was the highest, uh, second, uh, third highest volume candle, um, but mm. um, second highest, um, well, the, the most highest sell volume since the FTX crash. So I think that's pretty significant. Yeah, um, yeah I think so too. I think so too. And I think the Sol ETH, um chart as well as is really healthy to see for risk appetite i do start to kind of unwind my original thoughts that i had for maybe 2023 in terms of assets that i might hold in the future um because i think 2024 is shown um and there was a floating uh chart it wasn't mine but someone was posting like sector by sector in terms of returns for year to date in 2024 and it's pretty brutal for some particular asset classes that are like down horrendously in 2024 and even more so against like ETH um, and BTC so I think that that this current sell-off is something to monitor in terms of um, areas that you might want to get risk on in in terms of like whether or not it will be a good hold for the long term and then like obviously like compare that to like longer standing theses that you might have like if you believe ETH DeFi is going to do well um, but right now it's not doing as good in comparison to memes is that trend likely to continue into the future Um, and is there going to be a point where that might be the bet to take um, given the institutional interest in ETH so there's all this like stuff that can play out in the future but I think I think Sol is just such a clear win. And I also thought about this the other day. I think if the Phantom app keeps going up in the App Store, it means that people are like onboarding through to Sol almost directly. And 
are like having to buy soul to then go buy memes, um, which I think is bullish for soul. So I think, I think soul wins in a lot of different scenarios. Um, and maybe memes will just continue to do well as long as Wiff does well. So yeah, I don't know. These are sort of sporadic thoughts I currently have, but it'd be keen to, I'd be keen to hear what Sats has, um, as well as you, Tom and Sticks, if you guys have um, some thoughts around this sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'd probably say pretty much the yeah, same. You're... To be honest, it's like mm. um, I, I don't really want to repeat because uh, you said everything quite well. I'd say one thing is like uh, you either kind of think it's over here, like mm. we've had everything, and you can just fuck off, take what you have and fuck off. Yeah. Or um, like you take the bet on like things are going to get better. Yeah. Um, if you just have a good enough time frame and like a wide enough fucking uh, liquidation or wherever you want to get out if it's yeah. in, in spot or whatever it's like that's my kind of way of thinking it's um, I think everything uh, or most things uh, will get better yeah yeah um, I agree with that too I think pussies yeah <laughs> and, and like <laughs> Another way you could look at it is like for the uh, people like Ansem out there that claim to have been stabled up at the highs. If you were looking to get into the market and you've just seen the most recent price action occur, that would be like the the biggest sign to probably get into the market because that's the market being like, oh, we're just going to like clearly oversell off to the point where it just cooks everything. But it just gives you such a good, indication to buy here knowing that reversion's probably on the cards more so than lower down uh, but yeah we weren't all stabled up at the highs like ansem so maybe he did take the, uh... yeah the, the funniest part about mm. ansem stabling up was that he bought back in when bitcoin reclaimed and then had to suffer through the drawdown yeah uh, did he actually yeah <laughs> what a chad what a chad he's like no i'm buying strength and then he's like bam like straight down <laughs> Yeah, at least he's going back to bull posting a thousand dollar soul, which is nice. Yeah. But um Yeah, similar thoughts, I think. Um I think it was like we spoke about it one hour in the spaces we were like like people were actually asking us, they're like, so do we like sell? And we're like, no, nah, like the time to sell was like two days ago, bro. Like there's no point <laughs> selling now. Like we're like, stuck here now. Yeah, yeah, like there's no there's literally no point. Um but yeah, I guess like on this pump, as Sats was, he said, um, you can either, you know, assume it's all over, like mm. pops already in and you can just dump and chill, or you can like think that end of year or early 2025 is a lot better. And like, I'm just going to bet on that. So, um, yeah, I think soul fastest horse. Mm. we'll see what happens with ETH. It looks like there's just a lot of people that have a lot of ETH to sell. Like, yeah. there's just so many dudes that have a lot of ETH. Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> foundation. Like the foundation, Being the... man, honestly. So, even though it's hard by a bidding, like, we're just yeeting into them, I guess. So There's, um, there's a lot of funds that I think have a lot of ETH still. Like, I've seen... They have like, a lot a, of exposure, yeah. I think there's account... Like, I saw accounts like Zahir, uh, Split Capital. Um, oh, dude. And, they'd be over-allocated. Like, at ETH, Chief like, Zinger. Completely. Like, there's, there's a lot of dudes space. that are, like, mega ETH bulls that <laughs> have, like, positioned, like, way earlier in the cycle and <laughs> have, like, spent this They're last like, 12 months, not like... Even up. Yeah calling for like yep this is its moment and then just never happens and then not only does it not happen all the activity like leaves eth or leaves the l2s and then they like check out this new l2 it's going to bring all this activity like with blast and then based uh base and everything and then it's like they have this like one consumer app that like people come and like trying to do for the the airdrops um and then genuinely it just like dies after any sort of potential speculation goes whereas like <laughs> I, I guess the one the one thing that like really interests me like overall in terms of like what products actually good and the reason why i think pumped up funds like one of the best product market fit products is that like people aren't using pumped up fun in speculation of a token 
that pump.fun is using. Like maybe there is some, but I, I would say a lot of people are using pump.fun because their airdrop or their lottery ticket is the coins that launch on pump.fun. So like the dynamics different. So like they're using the product for what the product's trying to deliver rather than using the product for potentially getting an airdrop of something. And then once I've got the airdrop, then I will never use the product again. Um, so like mm. the, the feedback loop is, is different. Um, and then, and then the pump.fun or, or, um, just general coins on, like Jupiter or whatever on, on Solana, like people are using Solana for the same reason why people were using particular applications on ETH, etc. cetera, for, for airdrops, but it brings people to the chain and it keeps people to the chain because the activities there and like the, the promise of like that one soul to, you know, a hundred soul or a thousand soul, like one soul in a dream sort of thing exists. So that's why people are using Solana, but they're, they're inadvertently getting exposed to what these products look and feel like without it being like, okay, I'm done with this product and moving to the next one because the, like the fingers are in so many pies with Solana, whereas like on a lot of these ETH L2s and that, people only go to use the one particular product because that's got the potential of an airdrop. And then once the potential of the airdrop disappears, like everything dies. Um, whereas like there's no airdrop potential on Solana, it's just people are using it to actually trade the coins because the coins is what's gonna make them rich potentially, um, not likely, but potentially rather than anything else. So. Uh, it, the dynamics somewhat different and that's what I think attracts people to it. Cause that's what ultimately most people get into crypto anyways, right. Is to, to make money. Yeah. <laughs> I think people are forgetting that literally a vast majority. And I think it's, I think it's like these ETH, uh, like the ETH max is like those dudes that you mentioned before and, and no like hate to them, but they're in their like little echo chamber where they, they assume like they like write up these threads on like the tech and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, that's all good and well, but like, I don't know, bro. Like most people come into crypto to like make a lot of money, <laughs> and people, like they'll just buy Bitcoin to make money. Yeah, make money. Then... It's like yeah. people bought the... ETH to then gamble on things to make money. Make and money. Then... Like yeah. And then once like airdrops bought... came out, then people used ETH to farm airdrops to make money, and then now people buy Solana. No one, no one's really buying Solana to make money off Solana, I feel like I'd, I'd say, suggest that most Solana Only users do that don't because, actually hold like, much Solana. You know what I mean? Um, I think most Sol users actually hold their Sol net worth in Solana beta. Um, yeah. Yeah. Unless you're like a big whale trader, I'd say like vast majority of people that um, use Sol are just like gambling on meme coins or, you know, mm. doing that. It's like similar to what ETH, ETH, what we were doing on ETH like with nfts yeah. last cycle so it's yeah, like exactly. it's just like the same same shit but just like recycled in a quicker like more 100%. liquid version so it's like and yeah these dudes are like all in it for the tech which is cool like i think some of the tech's cool as well but yeah unfortunately 99.9 percent .9 of people don't actually give a fuck <laughs> yeah and i do think we're not get getting see... raped on gas fees <laughs> exactly um I do think that from like a psychological perspective, you'll, and this is like my bull case for memes now, like particularly post nuke, it's like, you've got a lot of people that would have seen a lot of shit wiped out. Um, or, you know, I still, I still technically, you know, some things have bounced, but it's like, I feel like a lot of people are going to have utility slash DeFi token exhaustion and will either pack it up or they'll just be like, fuck it. I'll bid some memes. Um, and I think the memes have, you know, proven themselves to be the money-making vehicle of this cycle. Um, so I just think that will probably accelerate from here on out, to be honest. So every time there's a risk, my thesis on, is up. Yeah, every time there's a risk on, it's always BTC salt and memes go up and everything else lags. So it's like yep. pretty obvious, like what people want to buy. And it's like it's like. It's like that famous. Oh, I forgot what the tweet was. It was like GCR tweeted. It was like men would rather add to their losers. Yeah. Uh, it would be like men. What was it? it? Was like men would rather cut their winners or add to their losers or something than go to therapy. It was like something like that. It was just like they'll keep doubling down on like the shit that is not doing it well because it's cheaper. But it's like, bro, like no one's buying that shit. Like 
also do you really want to be the guy like circle jerking yourself over like the the cash flows that like a utility coin has or do you want to be the guy uh, that's sitting in a telegram group gonna do that. posting like <laughs> gif memes of like your favorite like cat like it's a, it's a little bit more fun to like do every day than like just being like look at my cash flow and then like just sitting there it's kind of like boring like after a while whereas like i think people get entertained from like the community aspect of like talking to people meeting people making friends um you know you, you find a common point of you know relation because of like fucking shrek smiling at something and rubbing his hands so um yeah yeah i feel like that would almost be like a prophylactic for a lot of people though like i feel like a lot of again like you know people that consider themselves to be you know sophisticated investors are like nope i must have a complex thesis and there must be cash flows there must be revenue i must have models and that kind of shit so i feel like if anything that works but like we're not yeah, yeah. It, it works for like logically logical like like thinking but it's like crypto is like so illogical because like 99.9 percent .9 of crypto is just like nothing so it's like <laughs> It's like it's oi, all just oi, fucking. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> don't let them know. Don't let them know. Don't don't tell them. Don't. We've tell just them. convinced them to buy it with ETFs. Let's not let everyone know. <laughs> it's so funny how we've actually convinced. Like, because we we're making too much money, we like actually convinced like the biggest financial institution on the planet to like, hey, buy hey, our bags I, that I, we're I, selling. I still at, believe like, in this. Them. I still believe in the tech. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Fink just it. saw a phantom wallet screenshot and was like, whoa, whoa, they're doing wait, one over on. there. What Fuck can yeah. we make on fees from this? Yeah. What if we charged money for this? Hang on. <laughs> Got to figure out how to make money off this. <laughs> I'll do it for money. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. You, you, you always think crypto is worth nothing until you try and send money overseas. And then once you yep. realize oh, bro. like how yeah. hard it is that to is send money overseas. Analogy. Stable coins are easily the most mm. like the greatest it's the best thing product. Of, yeah. Of, yeah it's the best product of crypto by yep. far like actual if like the, the worst part is that most people don't actually know about them mm. i think and you know what's funny tether literally made the amount of money that like mcdonald's made in like their <laughs> just quarterly, by holding you know, us dollars <laughs> dude they've got like yeah they, they literally have like what like 10 or 20 employees probably and like I saw that, they don't I have saw, a product like i saw that meme of like the virgin circle usd and it was like is audited <laughs> publishes like, like quarterly fucking making... shit it's just like the chad tether yeah, yeah. it's yeah. silly That's crazy how much money they're making just by holding <laughs> but um nah, i think there's i think product. there's like less than 25 employees at that company yeah, Good. and they're making so the... the same amount as McDonald's made in the half yearly report or whatever. Sats, I had a question. If you're still there, all good if you've jumped off and ignored us. <laughs> Hello? Um, I've got uh, Woo X set up and Woo Fi Pro set up. Is, um, I've noticed that the volumes are quite good across both, which is really good, but um, I was going to ask if Wu Fi Pro is the one that pays you for in Arb rewards. Is that correct? Like, that's probably one of the differences between Wu X and Wu Fi Pro. Mm. Well, yeah, Wu Fi Pro is an on chain Did... pub dex. Yeah. Um, so, right now, if you've, well, it's only if you deposit via Arbitrum and you have, or you have 90% 90 of your like account uh, was deposited from Arbitrum, you will yep. get Arb rebates. Um, but you're also like farming orderly merits as well um, for their yeah, airdrop, which that. is like uh, hopefully like a, in a couple of weeks. Nice. Yeah. 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 Anyway, anyway back to dex, memes. That was... Dex, dex trading <laughs> good. Dex, dex perp dex good because you hold yeah. your own tokens rather than Hell yeah. centralized exchange. So, and it's, and the experience is the same, uh, I find. I didn't find it. Yeah, that's a, that's a one thing from this cycle to last cycle. It's like pub Texas are fucking insanely really good now. Cool. Like last cycle, yeah. they were like really clunky, whereas like now feels like pretty much the same. And and I can send feedback to Satswasi yeah. and say I want this feature and want that feature, and he mm -hmm. tells me that it's coming, so it's good. <laughs> yeah. I actually think the future is going to be like a hybrid, 
like between yeah. the two where you like yeah. you won't even know what the fuck you're kind of doing as long as like the security is there um and that's that'll be cool i'll Agreed. wait for the pump fund dev to make that uh coin. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure that we gotta get a lot on it yeah here. we could get it on here speaking of good devs the sanko devs are fucking sick like i remember we were having problems with streaming once and we literally messaged you and we're like hey man um stuff's not working and he got back to us in like three minutes and was like yeah it should be fixed and it was <laughs> we're like fuck yeah you wouldn't get this kind of customer service at twitch you know look at that <laughs> i actually cool. talked to do uh, a lot um and i'm actually dming him now because the chat was working um like the like they've got a chat feature now and it was working for like half the stream but it stopped working now so um eh. but it's good because i can talk to him and he he goes oh yeah i've heard this i'll, I'll look into it it's great yeah it's so yeah. um sick. but yeah cool nice. good good all right shall we uh leave it there yeah, yeah i think that's a good place to up. wrap it up sats unless you have some burning things you want to leave us with some some wussy related um, advice, wisdom, thoughts, things. Bet more. <laughs> Bet more. Bet more and on. Bet. Fuck, love it. Bet more. Love it. Fuck yeah. All right, dude. Sats, thanks so much for coming on this evening, dude. It was awesome. Yeah, thanks, Sats. This has been good. Thanks, Sats. Cheers, bro. <laughs> like, wait, wait a second. That's <laughs> that. <laughs> lines wrote. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> thanks for me, guys. Nah, cool. Good to yeah, have you on. Love you. Welcome, right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, this will be uploaded after our intern does his uh, killer job of uh, m editing uh, our long ass streams. So um, this should be on the tube soon. Um, I think the Taiki one's being uploaded now after I fucked it up last week. Um, but it's good. We're back. I uh, re-recorded my questions. Uh, I think I got them right. So yeah, that should be there soon. Uh, but yeah, nice. throw us a like and subscribe on the on the tube. Help us get the algos going and please share it around. We we appreciate you all and appreciate the comments when you when you guys do that. So thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.